Hello everyone, I'm the Critical Bastard, and today I was looking on the internet for something to keep my mind off of the demons in my head when I stumbled across a video called Totally Obsessed Pac-Man. Now I'm not really sure what this video is about, but I think we should have a cringe warning, so with that being said, the warning will be on a high, and with that being said, let's begin. Tim Christ, a man obsessed with Pac-Man. Hmm? After all this time, he's still there, he's still yellow, he's still perfectly round, he's still eating things. I feel as if his glowing light is always protecting me and guiding me and making all my enemies blue and edible. Behold, I am Pac-Man! <laughs> Holy shit, don't scare me like that, man. I could have had a heart attack. <laughs> if a robber broke into his house, the robber should be the one afraid. I mean, just look at that face. This would make a perfect jump scare in a video game, because it is totally frightening. Hey! 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 Ah! What the fuck? Pac-Man just gives me this feeling of giddiness, like there's all these tingles running up and down my nipples. Wait, wait, up and down your nipples? How does that make any sense? How long are your nipples? You were adopted. <laughs> like, that's a very odd thing to say. I really think you should have said, up and down my spine. And it's just this wonderful thing, like, hey look, it's Pac-Man! For the past 20 years, Tim's life has been consumed by Pac-Man. If you've never played Pac-Man before, it's a little something like this. You know how he said that Pac-Man gives him this feeling of giddiness and how he can feel it tingle up and down his nipples? I think he was talking about cocaine. Look what you've done. It's like he has a bond with Pac-Man. Oh, holy shit! He's married! How is this possible? I mean, look at him. He clearly needs some kind of help. Pac-Man! Pac-Man! I get kind of an oddball little Pac-Man feeling when I get the impression that he may be nearby. And there he'll be. You know, his golden yellow light just... <laughs> <laughs> wow, I swear he probably loves Pac-Man more than his wife. His wife. I, I still can't believe that he has a wife. I mean, he has a mullet! A mullet! Maybe she just likes his gorgeous locks of hair. Oh, don't, okay. <laughs> I should destroy you with my Pac-Man now. <laughs> Tim has spent $10,000 in quarters alone playing every day on his lunch break. Yeah, he's possessed. Yeah, he's possessed. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that is creepy. I mean, those gentlemen were right when they said he is possessed because just listen to that laugh. Also, can I point out the fact that he spent $10,000 playing Pac-Man? Are you out of your mind? How does he have that kind of cash to throw around? That's insane. <laughs> When the holy semicircle of life meets his demise in the melting way he does, it always brings in me a feeling that maybe I could have done something more. Maybe I could have turned left instead of right. Pac-Man! No! Clyde tried to bite Pac-Man! Clyde bite Pac-Man! Why Clyde bite Pac-Man? <laughs> Look at his wife. She is regretting every major life decision she has made up until this moment. Like, look at that face. What have I become? My sweetest friend. Are you ready for Batman? <laughs> it's about to go! What's wrong with you? Tim. Tim, what's wrong with you? The best way to Batman is to use the game! You move the joystick and he eat the dot! There should be counselors involved. Even his friends think he needs help. Does he not notice that everyone in his life think he has a problem? I also have to point out that he would fit in great with a heavy metal band with that hair of his. Sometimes, you just gotta bring the message to the people. Occasionally I'll be driving around and I'll pass somebody who doesn't look like he has invited the full glory of Pac-Man into his life, and I feel the need to, you know, convey to him somehow that he really should. Pac-Man! 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 Lest the public forget about Pac-Man, Tim goes out every week to remind them. Pac-Man! <laughs> 
Okay, there's nothing wrong with this guy whatsoever. I mean, it's perfectly normal to be walking down the street and have someone drive by you and yell, PACMAN! As loud as he can with a loudspeaker right in your face. PACMAN! Perfectly normal. It is written that you should play PACMAN! And only then shall you know the glory of PACMAN! It can be extremely embarrassing. When we're driving down the road, people are standing there and they're like, PACMAN? All before Pac-Man, feel his glory! Feel the glory of Pac-Man! See Pac-Man! No! See Pac-Man! <laughs> Okay, lock him up. I mean, he shouldn't be out in public. He's not a functioning member of society. He's a public menace at this point. He should be locked up in an arcade with a 24-hour guard around him. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. It was very strange, but I hope you found it entertaining and funny. But with that being said, if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If we get it 200 likes, that'll be awesome. If you're new, make sure you subscribe for more of these crazy videos. If you have Twitter, make sure you follow me there at Papa Memes. There is a link in the description for that. But with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.